I guess most of you uh, would have been able to uh, complete this by uh, by by now. And uh, for most of you, it would have been working. Yeah. And uh, for our case, the issue was that uh, my internet was turned off. Yeah. So yes, my internet was turned off. There was no error in our in our code. So nothing else. So let's continue. And uh, the, let's just. Uh, so as you can see, I have already created a, created a user with with my email ID. So for now, I'll be removing this. Uh, email account okay uh, and i'll be creating a uh, one one more with the same email id okay uh, so yeah uh, let's just me start the white okay uh, and uh, here I will be adding a password. Okay, so you can name, uh, have anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Anything. Okay. And just uh, try to click login and sign up. So now, for now, we haven't uh, had add, added any error handling or any toast sort of thing, but we'll add it. We'll add that too. Okay. Um, I just wanted to show that uh, the method, the or the function we that we uh, uh, wrote in the previous video was working fine so as you can see i have just created a uh, email id uh, a user with my email id and uh, as you can see the last created is also here okay so this is one thing so next show uh, what we'll do that uh, we uh, will add some error handling uh, we'll add proper tools uh, we'll add checks for email id and uh, we and we'll also add the checks for your password okay so this uh, two thing uh, you all, uh, one way is that you can manually check the email address or the password okay I mean, uh, manually check that the password length should be greater than 6 or it should have uh, it should have multiple characters that usually pattern that follows uh, in any password okay and for the email address the, it should have an uh, valid email address like at the rate or sort of thing okay uh, so you can do you can do that on your own or uh, you can just use the firebase uh, Firebase does that uh, whenever you are trying to create an account. Uh, if the password is less than password length is less than six, uh, it uh, show, it throws an error. And if the email address is not valid, uh, it throws an error. And if also uh, user ad user uh, is already there with the same email address, it uh, it also throws an error. Okay. So we'll try to add uh, all of them. So for this, uh, uh, I have to just write uh, some more function. Uh, after this so after this i have to just write uh, add i have to add multiple listeners there okay so first of all add on uh, success listener okay so this listener will be invoked when uh, your user has been authenticated or you can say the account has been created okay so for now let's just add a toast here mm this this uh, and uh, account created uh, successfully and toast dot length uh, short and show okay and uh, that's the case for yours. Uh, if the uh, everything is is good enough, and you just want to log in, the, uh, you want to create the account. But what if uh, there's something wrong with the email address or the password? So in that case, uh, there's a function which is invoked, or you can say as a, we add we want to list, add a listener, uh, which is our add-on failure listener, I guess. Yep. So as you can see, add-on failure listener throws an exception. Okay. So if you are not uh, uh, familiar with the higher order function or lambda function, I am thinking to create a separate video for this also, uh, in which uh, we will be covering all the lambda function, higher order functions and all about Kotlin basically. Uh, but although they do exist in Java as well, uh, in Java 8 they do exist, but uh, yeah, most of you, uh, most, of, uh, most of the people don't uh, work with the lambda in the Java, but in Kotlin it is quite common to use lambdas. Okay. So, in case of failure, uh, let's just say uh, 
Uh, we'll uh, add a toast also. Uh, yeah, we we'll add a toast. Okay, uh, this. Okay. Uh, in case of exception, I'll be just uh, printing the exception. Okay. Uh, one more thing. Uh, yeah. Inside, uh, in in your Kotlin, you can directly use your uh, variables inside the double colon. Okay. Uh, Okay, so you can directly use a colon in the uh, variable in your colon by using dollar sign, and uh, in, uh, after dollar you can write the variable name whatever you want to print. So it dot uh, let's say localized message. Okay, and to short length uh, short. Let it be let long. Sorry. Okay, and then that's so. Okay, and there's one more thing uh, which is add on uh, fail six. Uh, sorry, okay, uh, there's one more thing. I uh, cancel listener. Uh, if if you manually cancel this, but I guess uh, it won't be necessary. I guess it would be uh, these two will be more than enough. Okay, so let's try to run this and see what happens. Okay. So. So first of all, let's try with an email invalid email address. So let's just do one thing like this. Okay, and let the password be anything. Okay. So as you can see, uh, we have got a error message that email address is badly formatted. Okay, and if the email address is correctly formatted. So the email address is already in use uh, by another account. So as you, as, if you remember, uh, I used the same email address before to uh, log in my uh, user. Or you can say create the user. Okay. And uh, uh, lastly, uh, also check for the password. So for password, let's just add a password of length uh, for three characters. We'll be getting the password get, uh, valid. Uh, given uh, the given password is invalid. You need to have at least six characters. Okay. So there are, these are some checks which you can add uh, while making your app. Okay. Also you can uh, also add them manu manually if you don't want to add them uh, automatically by the Firebase. You want to you can check them uh, via manually. Uh, I guess most of you know this. And it it is quite simple. Malab, just uh, while uh, getting the value, you can like add a check like this. Like if uh, Pass dot text to string uh, uh, dot length is less than three or less than six, uh, or you can say this um, is alpha number. I guess uh, is uh, uh, two upper case. Two upper case, two lower case. You can uh, add anything you want to add, uh, like. That that is pretty pretty simple. Uh, there's nothing much to you can uh, uh, have as many aspects you want. Okay, so this is one thing. So I don't want that for now. You can add this. although you can add this. Okay, so yeah, so this is one thing uh, which we were able to create, and then uh, what can we add? Yeah, so. Uh, that was the case of the create user with the email and password. But uh, what is what uh, what is the case when the user is already there and we want we want to just sign in. Uh, we don't want to log in again. Uh, we, uh, sorry, we want to just log in. We don't want to sign in. Okay, okay. So yeah, we just we want to we, we just want to log in. We already have a user. We just don't want to uh, create a new account again. Okay. So in that case, you can do one thing like. Uh, you can say it's just a simple hack, not the right uh, method to uh, uh, implement this. So, okay. So if you remember, uh, in this case, I was getting an error like the email address is already used. Okay. So what I'll do that uh, I'll check a uh, condition if the message I'm getting contains uh, uh, this keyword like already. So what I'll do, what I'll uh, I'll call a function uh, which is sign in. Okay. So let's just do one thing. 
let's add a check here if it dot uh, localized message is uh, equals oh, sorry not equals contains okay contains not equal contains uh, what was there already already and uh, ignore case boolean true i want to ignore the case not uh, it should be like uh, even i even if i write this it would it would work okay so if this contains what i'll do otherwise i'll just show what toss in this case what i'll do that uh, i'll call a method which is uh, sign in and uh, inside this i'll be sending these two parameters okay and uh, uh, email pass and uh, now i'll be calling a func uh, calling a method from auth uh, which is uh, sign in sign in with the uh, email and password okay and inside this i'll be passing email and password and after this uh, as above you can also also add these uh, listeners which is add on success listener and you can also add add on uh, failure listener and similarly you can show the toast uh, it might be like an uh, you can say the error of your uh, password incorrect password it might be an error of incorrect password okay so for this i can add this and uh, here uh i can add just uh, i can add a message you have uh, logged in successfully okay cool so let's just try to run this and see what happens yeah so it is ready now let's try to install this and uh, first of all uh, let's create a different uh, user so let just use my different email id and i'll be doing same password here okay so i'm, I'm getting a message account created successfully okay so that was the first case and if i try to log in again what i'll get logged in successfully do you get it so in the first case uh, when i the user was not there uh, i got the message that account was created successfully and the second time i got the message that uh, um, uh, logged in successfully okay cool so these are the things that you require and uh, well, one more thing let's just add have i invalid password now so the given password is invalid so yeah is uh, let's just Write something like this. Okay, so now I'll be getting invalid password or incorrect password. Yes, the password is invalid or you does not have a password. Okay, so you are getting this kind of error. And also you can have a different account here. Like uh, I can have account like this. Yeah, so there was seven also. So as you can see, uh, I was getting a message of logged in successfully. Okay, so these are the two things that I wanted to show you guys in the, in this video. and in the next video, uh, video we'll be uh, we'll try to fetch that username as well the user uh, field and we'll try to fetch that and add that username to the uh, firebase account so there's a uh, there's a method by which we can add the username as well to the user field and we'll also create a activity in which uh, we'll implement the logout feature 